Okay. The rim of an hydraulic jack is 100 mm in diameter. And the diameter and the stroke are the stroke of the plunger are 20 mm and 50 mm respective. Determine uh, the following. The force uh, that must be applied uh, to the lever to lift a load of 2.3 uh, tons if the efficiency is uh, 8.5. So if the e efficiency is 85%. Uh, so uh, then our data, we have uh, the, the diameter of the rem, which is uh, 100 millimeter which we convert into meters which is a 0 0.1 meter and the diameter of the plunger which is 20 millimeter and we convert it to meters is 0 0.02 meters and, and then the, the stroke length so uh, remember the stroke length is the um, the distance moved by the plunger per stroke so uh, then to calculate uh, the force that is needed in the lever so if you can check our question and they say uh, uh, the force that must be applied to lift or to the lever to lift a load of a 2.3 ton okay if the efficiency is 85 percent so then uh, uh, 2.3 tons as uh, we convert it into uh, kg that means multiplied by thousand into k to convert into kg which we will have uh, two, uh, 2, 2,300 kg. Then I uh, remember that it, uh, this is a uh, kg and we're going to use a force. Then, so that means we're going to uh, say W is equal to mass multiplied by gravity. So to change uh, this mass into a force, we multiply the mass by the gravity, which is 9 9.8 so then to convert uh, this mass we're going to have uh, two is 22,540 in newton okay so uh, then uh, this one is the uh, weight is the um, force on uh, the rim aside so to calculate uh, the force on the plunger we're going to use w over uh, d squared is equal to or f over d squared this is the force on the rem side then uh, over the the diameter of the rem side then uh, multiply by the force of uh, the plunger divided by the force uh, the diameter of the plunger so then the force of the plunger will be equal to uh, the diameter multiplied by w over the diameter of the rm so then uh, that our diameter of the the diameter of the plunger is a zero is a zero point zero two squared multiplied by the force on the rem side which is a twenty two thousand five hundred and forty divided by the diameter of the of the rem so the diameter of the rem is zero point one squared then our answer we will have our answer as nine nine hundred and one point six newton so uh, this is the uh, force that is exerted by the plunger but uh, remember we have the efficiency of uh, 85 percent now so that means we have to calculate them uh, the force on the this is the mechanical efficiency so then we have to calculate the force on the on the lever system remember our hydraulic uh, check is uh, like this so uh, this is the plunger uh, system if we have uh, the plunger at uh, this side this one is our uh, stroke length which is l then we have uh, this force so now then we're going to have uh, the plunger okay so this one is the plunger and then we're going to have uh, okay uh, okay so uh, this is the lever uh, system on the other side so if we uh, put an effort uh, this side 
If the efficiency is 100%, that means this force that we are applying on the, uh, the hydraulic check, which is uh, the uh, this one is the lever system. Then uh, the force that the effort that we are going to put here will be equal to uh, this uh, uh, load. Now, which okay, this is the load, which is our force on the ram side. This one is the force on the ram side. But now our we have the efficiency. That means the force that we applied here is going to be our input. And this the force that we have on the plunger is our output. So to calculate the force on the lever system, we're going to use the formula efficiency is equal to uh, output output over uh, input multiplied by a hundred hundred percent so then uh, our efficiency is 85 then 85 divided by 100 we're going to have 0 0.85 is equal to our output is the force that as is the force on the ram side oh sorry is the force on the plunger side which is uh, this uh, 901.6 uh, so then we're going to have a uh, 900 and 1.6 divided by our output which is the force the force on the plunger oh sorry this is the force on the lever system then we cross multiplied then we're going to have f is equals to 901.6 divided by 0 0.85 so then we're going to have the final answer which is our uh, force uh, on the this is the force of the lever so this is the force that we uh, we must apply it in the lever system in order to obtain the force of 901.6 in the plunger so the force will be equal to uh, 1 1900 and, oh 1060.76 uh, newton then uh, this is the uh, force that we must apply on the uh, on the lever system. So this here we have to apply the force of nine of one thousand and sixty point seven zero eight in order to obtain uh, the force on the plunger system. The force on the plunger system is nine point nine hundred and one point six okay okay so a uh, question uh, point two and the number of uh, the number of the stroke in of uh, the lever in okay the number of the stroke of uh, the lever to lift uh, the load of the load uh, to 126 millimeters so uh, the number of stroke we're going to use uh, the formula side the diameter on the, the ram side multiplied by the height which is the distance moved by the ram is equal to the diameter of the plunger multiplied by the stroke length which is the distance moved by the uh, plunger multiplied by the number of stroke so therefore the number of stroke is equal to uh, the diameter of the plunger multiplied by the height multiplied by t squared multiplied by l so then the, our diameter on the plunger on the ram side is 0 0.1 uh, squared multiply our height now we are given h which is the diameter oh with h is the distance that must be moved by uh, the ram so which is 126 millimeters and 126 millimeters convert into uh meters is 0 0.126 meters then multiply by 0 0.126 meters over a 0 0.02 squared multiply by 0 0.05 then um, okay yeah so then on uh, this one we punch your calculator and you will have the number of stroke as 63 uh, okay then the number of stroke is equal to 63 so in order to move the plunger to move the ram into a 
to move the REM into a distance of 126 millimeters, we have to uh, pump uh, to have 663. Uh, we have to. Okay, the, the number of a uh, stroke that we will require to move uh, the plunger, the rem, into a height of 126 is uh, 63 uh, strokes. So, this is 63 uh, strokes. Okay, remember to subscribe for more and watch up the next video.